Let's talk about the pitfalls of a do-it-yourself estate plan. Now you could be very tech savvy, very smart, but if you're not an estate planning lawyer, frankly, you don't know what you don't know. And I don't mean to offend anybody. I just want to let you know that what makes a successful estate plan isn't the document, it's the planning, it's the guidance, it's the knowledge that you receive from your estate planning lawyer. So having said that, let's talk about what are some of the pitfalls if you decide to do your own online estate plan. Well, you go to a site and it says it is uh, something that you can use in Washington because it will walk you through your will, for example. It will walk you through that the signature of the witnesses will be notarized, there'll be an affidavit. Everything looks like it's okay. Uh, it'll be a non-intervention will, a bond won't be required. I mean, it walks you through what you're supposed to do and you follow the directions. That should be enough, right? What problems do we find with that? Well, did you read the directions clearly enough that the person who is a witness can't be an interested witness, meaning that they could not inherit from your estate or be an in-law because they potentially could inherit? Yes, you follow those instructions. Okay. Did you include in this will a trust? No, online wills are not going to have a trust. And you're saying, why would I want to trust? Because a testamentary trust can be a really good estate planning tool. You're saying, I don't need trust. My estate is really simple. I don't need that. All right. Did you name who would inherit from you? Well, yes, you did. Did you include in that what would happen if the person or persons die before you? Maybe, maybe the form walked you through that. Maybe you understand that per stirpes or by right of survivorship means one thing and that other legal terms meet another because you follow the instructions, that's possible. Did you name a successor to be your personal representative or your executor? Hopefully you did because the instructions told you to do so. Did you know that you really didn't even need this will and that this will is going to cause there to be a probate on your death? And you thought, no, I thought I had a will. That means no probate. No, a will means there's going to be a probate. So if you have a simple estate in your point of view, which means you have a house, bank account, IRAs, etc., and maybe you're a single um, and you just want everything to go to your, you know, your daughter, your son, your daughter, your own son. You could have set up your estate plan had you known to avoid a probate. You could have set it up with, for example, a transfer on death deed on your house so that your kids got that, a pay on death on your bank account, a beneficiary designation on your IRA, and it would have gone simply, your estate would have, where you wanted it to go, but you didn't realize that there were ways to avoid a probate. You might not even have realized that a will means there will be a probate unless part of your estate plan is set up to avoid a probate like I just mentioned with directing your assets and uh, especially your house. People don't understand that their house can go by way of a transfer on death deed, at least in the state of Washington. Not all states have that. So that is just one uh, kind of example of why an online will might be a really bad idea. So yeah, you didn't pay any money for that will, but there's going to be a probate and that's going to entail literally thousands of dollars for your heirs to get the asset to go where it should have gone or where they should have gone. Um, I can tell you in my experience as an estate planning and elder law attorney, we see online forms and candidly, I have not seen one online form in a probate that didn't have issues. Those issues being it caused a lot more work in the probate than if the person simply had seen an estate planning lawyer in the first place and done a good will in the first place and possibly even avoided probate which certainly is something that we talk with our clients about if probate isn't a benefit to them. 
I just talked about what a will is as an online do-it-yourself form. There's oftentimes revocable living trusts that you also can get online and fill it out yourself. Um, and maybe you fill it out correctly. Did you follow the instructions though that said that you need to do a deed? You need to take your house and you need to do a deed on your house to put it into the name of the trust. Even if you're the trustee of the trust, it is legally owned by you outside of the trust unless you record a deed in the county where your house is and you retitled your house in the name of your trust. This is really a common situation that we see is that people, if, especially if they create their own and even sometimes when a lawyer has helped them create the trust, they don't realize that they need to take the next steps to fund that trust. Also, when you have a revocable living trust, you need what's called, uh, it's called a pour over will. It's a will, but it's called a pour over will because what is it intended to do? Capture all the assets you forgot to put in your trust and through a probate, now they're put in your trust. So there will be a probate if you do not correctly fund your revocable living trust. You need to put your bank accounts, retitle them in the trust. You need to put your investment accounts in the trust. Oh, and by the way, you cannot put your IRA or your 401k in this trust. And sometimes that's one of your biggest assets. So what happens to that? Well, hopefully you have a beneficiary designation on it to say where it pays and an alternate to where it pays. If you don't do that, then your retirement money will pay to your estate which means it'll be captured and picked up by your pour over will if you have that and then put in your trust. And then the RMDs or required minimum distributions on that retirement account will have the shortest possible payout term, which is five years, as opposed to, for example, 10 years if you paid it to your adult children. Um, other estate planning documents that are easy, do-it-yourself ones, or they appear to be are durable powers of attorney. There are uh, different websites where you can easily download those. Frankly, the state of Washington has a really good one. It's called WashingtonLawHelp.org. And if you can navigate your way through that, you will find a very good durable power of attorney form for finances and for health. If you don't get any estate planning guidance or help, um, I, which I encourage you to do, but let's say you're just, you're not going to do it. You just have heard you want a durable power of attorney, then go to that website, WashingtonLawHelp.org. Don't pay $49 here or even $500 there. You're not going to get any good help there. Go to WashingtonLawHelp.org and download one of their uh, free and very good durable power of attorney forms. As an estate planning and elder law attorney who helps clients protect assets, uh, keeps um, assets away from the state, uh, avoids uh, spending all your assets on long-term care costs, all of these other things that are really important uh, to us as estate planning and elder law attorneys, no, we are not gonna recommend that form to our clients but will that form from WashingtonLawHelp.org keep you out of the court from a court-ordered guardianship and conservatorship if you lose capacity? It has a good chance of doing it. No guarantees, but it is a decent form. So kind of to wrap this up, completely understand why people want to not spend any money on their estate plan. Um, I would think that the reason for that, the primary reason is a lack of appreciation of the value of what you get with an estate plan. Sometimes you don't appreciate the value until something has gone very wrong. Then you might appreciate the value of the guidance you get from an estate planning lawyer and for the fees that you pay them. So do it yourself forms, no, I don't re recommend them. I encourage you to at least explore what benefits would come to you if you see an estate planning and elder law attorney. Mm -hmm.